Uh, first of all, you know, what an, what an amazing second half by, by Missouri State. They're so well coached. They've got so many great players, and, and you got to give credit where credit's due. I felt like we played with perfect effort in the first half. Defensively, we were outstanding. Followed the scout, uh, you know, just uh, really bottled them up and uh, rebounded the basketball well and, you know, got out and ran and played at the pace that we wanted to. I uh, was really excited about that in the first half, but told them at halftime, third quarter has been Missouri State's best quarter all year. I said, this is where it's really going to get tough because just by percentages and everything, third quarter. And they came out and smacked us in the mouth, and we took it. And, uh, you know, third quarter was one of our worst quarters. And you give up 32 and you only score 11. Now, we can give up 32 if we score 25. But we can't give up 32 if we're only going to score 11. But, you know, again, sh uh, shot totals down, 28 turnovers, unacceptable. Uh, you know, not even being pressed, just throwing the ball around, dribbling in double teams, making bad decisions. And uh, you're never going to get to 80 shots when you turn the ball over 28 times. So, you know, very disappointed uh, in the outcome and very disappointed in our effort in the, in the second half. Was it their pressure in the third quarter or was it just y'all not taking care of the ball? I just think a lot of it not taking care of the ball, not, not taking anything away from them. But, you know, the third quarter starts with a great defensive uh, s s possession. Make them take a shot we want to, don't rebound the basketball. And usually when you don't do the little things, they snowball into big things. And I thought that kind of set the tone for the entire third quarter. And, uh, you know, we had open shots, didn't make them. We had opportunities uh, to get rebounds and get stops. And, and we didn't uh, – we weren't lock, as locked in defensively. We made some mistakes and left some people open. They made six threes in the quarter, you know. And they – I don't know how many they had made, if any, going into that quarter. You know, a few, I'm sure. But uh, you just can't lose uh, your focus to that point and allow them to get going. And, uh, again, it's – it's okay for the other team to score the basketball, but it, not if we're not scoring. I mean, we're you know we're trying to to outscore them, and they're going and other teams are going to score a lot of points, but uh, we just can't have stagnant quarters like we did today. How can you guys maybe maybe slow it down a bit and really uh, con con control the uh, ball better? Well, we're not going to slow it down. I mean, that, and that's just that's just the, that's I mean that's just the truth. It, this, this I mean we're not even playing fast enough for me. Uh, again, if we can't take care of the basketball, then we got to figure that out. We got we got to you know recruit to to be able to take care of the basketball uh, because uh, we we know that shooting the ball less than sixty times we're not, we won seven games last year in conference, and that's what we did. We were a half court basketball team that shot the ball sixty times. We've been averaging ninety to a hundred possessions up until the last week or so, and so for whatever reason. Uh, we're we're ki kicking ourselves and shooting ourselves in the foot because again, take take that twenty eight turnovers and ha cut them in half, and we give ourselves twelve more shots. Yeah. And twelve more shots, maybe we make a few of them. But uh, I mean, you cannot play this way, and you cannot expect the outcome to go your way when you're turning the ball over that many times. It's just unacceptable. First half, something I really was noticing: y'all were beating them at their own game. Y'all were out punching. Them, yeah, uh, yeah. The physicality. I mean, like I said, my coach is doing an amazing job with scout. We know the things that'll be effective against the other team, and when our players go out and they do that and they do it with perfect effort, it looks like the first half. We made them work for everything they got. Well, they're the same team, and we're the same team in the second half. But when you don't have that perfect effort and you don't have that energy and that attitude that you're going to do whatever it takes. To to make sure that they don't get going or they don't make a run and you got you crave it, you know, just so bad. You want to win so bad that you're going to make sure you do your job. But that's the problem right now. We've only got a few people that are given perfect effort the entire time and we're not good enough for that to happen. And, uh, you know, we, we got some people that aren't making shots feeling sorry for themselves all of a sudden. I mean, again, I asked after the SIU game, I said, I spent the whole first half, half saying, who is this? Who is this team? This isn't the team I coach. This isn't the team that's selfless. This isn't the team that we that we brag about that brings 2,000 people to the CFSB today. I mean, that's the team that everybody's talking about. That was our team in the first half. It's not the team that played in the second half. And, and as a coach, it's frustrating, and it's hard to understand how you can flip a switch like that. Sometimes we flip the switch the other way. And we've been behind and we fought back and came back and won like on Friday night. Today, you know, we, ju we just never responded to their runs. I mean, we've been talking about bending and not breaking. Today in the third quarter, we broke. But in the fourth quarter, 
y'all had more than enough chances to win the game, I think. I think we had three chances. We cut it to two. I think we had three possessions that we could have tied or taken the lead. And, you know, either didn't make a sh open shots, didn't make them, uh, weren't able to finish plays or turn the ball over. And, uh, I mean, they're a good team. I mean, nobody understands the difficulty of the Valley. And especially, I mean, on the women's side, so deep. I mean, there there are six or seven teams that are that would win a lot of other conferences, and and that's just facts. And we've been in another one. We I understand the difference, and so you have to you cannot take a breath. There is no days off. There is no quarter. There is no minute. There is no second that you can take off and expect to be successful. These teams are good. These coaches are good, and and you just and I, you know sometimes when you're not used to winning. Sometimes you don't understand what it takes to win. I felt like we were kind of over that hump this year, that we were a little bit different and we understood what it takes to win. Today was kind of a setback in that. But, I mean, it's not going to get any easier. We're getting ready to go on the road for three games, play Belmont, one of the best teams in the conference at their place, and we turn around play SIU and Missouri State again on the road. So, again, if you're looking – I tell our kids, if you're looking for an easy button, there's not one. There's not an easy button. Nobody's going to bail you out of this. Nobody's going to feel sorry for you. They're just going to keep coming. We get everybody's best game. We're, you know, we're target now. And so, you know, we can either figure this out, we can either suck it up and get tougher, or, you know, because it's not going to get any easier. I thought something y'all were doing at the end of the game. Y'all had y'all forced turnovers on them left and right. It looked like y'all were trying to draw fouls instead of shoot the ball. Yeah, I mean, you know, you can't, you know, again, you know, you can't let the way a game's officiated affect how you play. And I agree with you. You got to go up and finish strong, or you got to make a play. And if you get the end one, you get the end one. But you're going in there just reckless, trying, expecting a foul call, and you're not going to get it. You're just not going to get it. And uh, you know, I thought that tone was set pretty early in, in the way that was going to be. Um, and uh, but you know, when it's tough, you just got to get tougher, and you can't back down. And uh, I, you know, we that's what we did in the third quarter. But uh, you know, we're we're just trying. We're, tr we're we're sometimes we look really, really good. And sometimes we're like, okay, this is the system, this is what it looks like, and this is what it's supposed to be. And then other times, I know people are like, why are they trying to play like that? Because it looks, I mean, I get it. I get it. But this is how we're going to play. And our players are going to play this way. And the recruits that we bring in are going to play this way. And eventually we're going to figure this out. But uh, but we're going to take some, have some growing pains along the way. And uh, that's going to be part of it. But again, don't turn the ball over 28 times. Hey, I just want to say, uh, crowd, unbelievable, unbelievable today. I mean, I, I'm so proud of, uh, of of the fan support we've had this year. You know, I tell our players all the time, don't take it for granted. This has never happened since I've been here. It was a great crowd again today. They were behind us. They gave us energy. Uh, you know, CFSB, Bank, you know, just did an amazing thing for us and uh, just continue to get people in here. So don't give up on us yet. We're going to go back to work, and uh, we, when we finally get back home in a couple of weeks, hopefully they'll come back. Thanks, guys. Thank